not tell you to have a house the size of mine. I don't want my size. I'm tired of sleeping this mess. I kind of still love it twice or three times a week. But I don't need this big house! My boast will try to lie. Walk this house. Not me. Start checking out. Start checking out, realizing we're working for God. Now, you can make six figures. It's okay. It's, it's okay. But don't say I'm not being blessed if I don't. <clears throat> Seek what God wants for you. Seek excellence for who you are, not who I am, not who somebody else is over here. You seek the excellence in your life, and you be the best mama, the best grandma, the best dad, the best grandpa, the best brother, sister, you name it. Strive for excellence. Commit today to doing that for God, folks. Honor your boss. Do your best. Blessings. You should do this, not out of fear, by the way. Do it because you love Jesus. If Jesus is your best friend, what kind of employee are you going to be? The best. Jesus is your best friend. What, what kind of a... You're going to be honest. You're going to do what's best for the company. Listen. He gave his life on the cross at the hands of terrible men. Your boss, as bad as he might be, will not crucify you. It's illegal. Okay? They cannot crucify you. And what if they did? If Jesus' tomb is empty... So will be yours. So if they can't crucify you, and they can't kill you, because you're God's anyway, live your life with freedom and enjoy it. But strive for excellence. Your boss isn't maybe as bad as you said they think he is. Empty tomb says, don't worry about the boss. Strive. Strive to live like that, like never before. Maybe this is all new and it's really hard for you.